uh, attains the transcendental nature of the Supreme Lord, but it is not true that a person who thinks of something else other than Krishna attains the same transcendental state. This is a point we should note very carefully. How can one die in the proper state of mind? Maharaj Bharata, although a great personality, thought of a deer at the end of his life, and so in his next life he was transferred into the body of a deer. Although as a deer he remembered his past activities, he had to accept that animal body. Of course, one's thoughts during the course of one's life accumulate to influence one's thoughts at the moment of death. So this life creates one's next life. If in one's present life one lives in the mode of goodness and always thinks of Krishna, it's possible for one to remember Krishna at the end of one's life. That will help one to be transferred to the transcendental nature of Krishna. If one is transcendentally absorbed in Krishna's service, then his next body will be transcendental, not material. Therefore, chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, is the best process for successfully changing one's state of being at the end of one's life. Okay. okay, so this verse is talking about uh, what do you do when you die? So you should remember. So who you should remember? Remember Krishna. In the Padatil Enna Sala Patarakana, Udalay Vudam Bodhu, Ningal Ere Nineka Vendam, Ningal Udalay Vudam Bodhu, Yare Nineka Vendam, Krishna Re Nine will call a Vendam. So that was explained in the previous verse. Ire Patri Vandu Mundiya Sloga Tilam Vivarika Patalade. So then, what happens if you don't remember Krishna? What happens? Krishna Re Nine will call the Patsatil Enna Nadakam. So this verse says, whenever you remember, you go to that, you attain that. In the Padatil and Nasala Patrika, Yere Ninikir and the Yere Ninikir Rigalo, and the Nele Ningal Adevirgal. So if you don't remember Krishna, obviously you don't go to Krishna. Ningal Krishna Re Ninavil Kola, the Patsatil, Nichayam, Krishna Re Adayam, Riyadu. But what are you going to remember? Ninga Yere Ninavil Kola Pogi Rigal. So in the Purple Prophet explains that generally uh, your thoughts at death are dependent on what you do in your life. Srila Prabhupada in the Purdu Rail Kurpidigara, Ningal in the Varkail and the Sayyid Kondirikara, and the Chailaitan Kadis in Aratil and Napirgal. So if you're constantly thinking of a certain thing during your life, you will think of that when you're dying. Ninga in the Olatil Yare Todachiyan and Inatu Kondirikara, and the Vishayatan Udali Vidambo then any pirgal. So if we're strongly attracted to a certain person, then that's the person we'll think of when we're dying. Of course, Krishna has also said you worship the Devatas, you go to the Devatas, you worship the Pitras, you go to the Pitras, you worship the ghosts, you go to the ghosts. So, depending on what we absorb ourselves in, we will go in that direction. Krishna Ram Mandu Sahigirat, Pitur Kalai Nenei Pavargal, Pitur Lokatai Adai Vargal, Devar Kalai Vari Padavargal, Devar Lokatai Adai Vargal, so in other words, uh, where do we go in our next body? According to our activities and our absorption of this lifetime, that will determine our next body. Okay. So if we do bhakti in this lifetime, but we don't remember Krishna when we die, what happens? Bhakti in the Pravil Nam Sigirum, Anal Udali Vidum Samayatil, Krishna in Nineka, the Pachatil, and then Arakum. So Krishna has already explained in chapter 2 that if you carry out the process of bhakti, you attain another human life. Krishna Yerkanavi Yeranda Atiayatil Kurupetirikara, Ningal Bhakti Yogate Say the Udali Vitirical and Ral, Nichiam Adata Pravi, Madida Pravi Karakum. And in chapter 6, concerning yogis, he also says that uh, you can also attain uh, or continue where you left off in the next lifetime and continue the process of bhakti. Krishna Bhagavad Gita, Aravada Atiyayatil Sangira, in the Yoga Mariel, Yanda Nilayil Vittari Kirargalo, Adi Nilayinai Todarudaku, Maru Piravil, Sandarpate, Yerpati Kodakara. So, in general, for the devotee, uh, we go from life to life as a devotee. And we go through the various stages until we get prema. Bhaktan and the Ritha Kulam Burde, Uber Premium Bhaktan Araway Paraparagal, Adi Premay Nilayne, Adayim Varek. And once we get prema, 
uh, then when we give up our body, we end up in a spiritual body. நீங்க அந்த பிரேமை நிலையினை அந்த அடையும் பொழுது அப்பொழுது உடல் விடும் பொழுது நீங்கள் ஆன்மீக உலகிற்கு செல்வீர் so therefore we have to be very careful about the activities we do in our life adanal inda piraviyil nam endra seyalai seigirom endradil nam migavum jaagrathayaga irukka vendum so we may do bhakti but we also doing some material activities we have some material attraction ipa nama bhaktiyum seidukondu irukrom baudhiga seyalil eedupettu irukrom baudhiga irpam namakku irukirathu so when we are dying what are we going to think of அப்பொழுது நாம் இறக்கும் நேரத்தில் எதை நினைப்போம் சில சமயம் கிருஷ்ணரை சில சமயம் பௌதிகமாகவும் நினைக்கலாம் அதனால் நிச்சயமான அந்த உத்தரவாதம் என்பது பிரேமையின் நிலையினை அடையும் போது நிச்சயம் கிருஷ்ணரை நினைவில் கொள்ளலாம் uh we should think of what we're doing in this lifetime we should try to perfect our uh performance of bhakti yoga in this life anal udalai vidumbodhu krishnare nenaivil kolluvathu nalladhu adhe samayathil indha piravil endha saila eedupaduthi kondu irukkoromo adhil mulumaiyana gavanathai selutha vendum so uh the performance of bhakti yoga is quite flexible adhe pole indha bhakti yoga valimurai adarku palamuraiyilum seiyalam who are actually not expected to do only bhakti anal bhakti mattum and or kudipetta konathil seiya vendum ingra avasiyam illai to do only bhakti would mean we have to give up everything and simply dedicate ourselves to uh, devotion adhe pole bhakti endal ellavathaiyum vittu vittu bhakti mattum vandu orumuga padutha vendum endral illai but lord chaitanya has instructed that anybody can take to the process of bhakti Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Uvadesam Saiti Rikirar Yaar Endra Nelayilum Inda Bhakti Murayayin Sayyalam And you don't have to renounce everything Ayanal Nihil Yellah Vatrayum Turavaram Sayyam Endra Mengir Avasiyam Illai So therefore he said it's open for uh, married people and it's also open for people who've renounced everything Ayanal Idu Manamana Gregastar Galukum Turavu Nelaya Edutta Varugalukum Edu Porundum Neither uh, tradition uh, stops our perfection of bhakti idu inda nilayil seiyumbodhu adu nam bhaktiyin poorna nilaiyukku selvadharku thadaiyaga irukkadu so we see in chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, past times many of his devotees were or most of them were prihastas <laughs> chaitanya mahaprabhu nilayil avarude perumbanmayana sadakal grahasthargalaga irundanar and that was not considered to be sinful or wrong அது வந்து தவறானது அல்லது பாவகரமானது என்று கூறுவதில்லை in fact even after lord chaitanya most of the devotees in the parampara were married அதே போல சைத்தன்ய மகாபிரபுக்கு பிறகு வரக்கூடிய அந்த பரம்பரையில் இருக்கக்கூடிய பக்தர்களும் பெரும்பாலும் வந்து மனம் செய்து கொண்டனர் so this shows that the process of bhakti in general is very flexible and it can be adapted for all varnas and all ashramas and even beyond the varnas and ashramas அதே போல இந்த பக்தி யோக முறை எல்லாவற்றையும் உள்ளடக்கி இருக்கிறது அது வர்ணாசிரம தர்மத்திற்கு உட்பட்டும் வர்ணாசிரமத்திற்கு அப்பாற்பட்டும் செய்யப்படலாம் அதே போல இந்த பக்தியின் நோக்கமே எவ்வாறு கிருஷ்ணரை நினைவில் கொள்ள வேண்டும் அவரை எவ்வாறு மறக்காமல் இருப்பது அதே போல நாம் நிச்சயம் அந்த உயர்ந்த பூரணத்துவ நிலையை அடைவது சுலபமானதல்ல நாம் எதை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோமோ அதை பயிற்சியில் நாம் அதை ஈடுபடுத்த வேண்டும் நாம் உன்னத நிலையை அடையும் பொழுது இந்த அற்பமான விஷயங்களில் இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த நாட்டத்தை நம்மால் துறக்க முடியும் and uh even if we're still a householder or working whatever we'll have very little attachment to those uh, activities adhe pola nam grahasthagalaga irundalum velai seidalum ammadhiyana seyalgalil namakku kuraindha alavilana pattudalai kidaikum so uh, as we progress uh, we will be thinking less of material things and thinking more of krishna adhe pola nam aanmeegathil munnerum bodhu இந்த பௌதீக பட்டுதல் குறைந்த அளவில் நினைத்துக் கொண்டு கிருஷ்ணரை அதிக நேரம் நினைப்போம் 
So this gives us a better chance of thinking of Krishna when we leave the body. It is Krishna Ray Nam Nanavil Kulvatraka Udali Vidum Purde or we are in the Sandra Patai near Pati Kodakara. So why is that? Yeah. Because we have more attraction for Krishna than for material activities. Namaka Krishna Midana and the Yir Pradi Galavali Karada, Bodhi Sale Saivada Yvada. But that we may have some strange accident. Adepola, either Kuru Muran Padana, Vidaya Mulade. So we may die unconscious, no thinking of anything. So upon the Vodal Vudam Bodhi, Nam in the Suya Nana Vudan, Illamal, Yadayam, Nene Kamal, Vodali Vudam Bodhi Nagam. So where do we go then? Nam Engusalvam. We don't think of anything, where do we go? Nam Yadayam Nene Kala Patsatil, Engusalvam. So, as Krishna has already explained, if you do bhakti, then definitely you continue bhakti in your next lifetime. Krishna, the air can away, Kuria Padi, Ningal, Bhakti Yoga Mari, Payuchi Sati Kundarina, Vita Nelay Lirindu, Adita Pereville, and the Nelay Adaway. So, even if you don't remember when you're dying, still, no problem, you continue the process of bhakti till you got perfection. And Ningal, the Yuriana Kalatil, Krishna, and Nelayville Kola, the Patsatilum, Ningal, Vita Nelay Lirindu, Adita Pereville, and the name. So there is no need to worry. Krishna always makes arrangement for devotees. Krishna bhaktaravilukka On the other hand, for non-devotees, no such arrangement is there. So if you accidentally think of something when you die, then that's what happens. You get that. And if you think of nothing, if you are in coma or something, then that's maybe where you go. You may end up in a state not getting another body for a long, long time. That's why it's considered very inauspicious to die in a coma or in a drunken state or something like that where there's no control of the mind. So and even among what the local custom is that when people are dying, what do you do? You chant the name of the Lord in their ear. Yeah, so hopefully even if they're in pain or they're unconscious, they may at least remember the Lord once by hearing that chanting of the name of the Lord. Yeah. So that chanting of the name of the Lord has great power. We see that Ajamil was not a devotee, had no devotion, and when he chanted the name of Narayana, all of his karmas disappeared. What disappeared? Okay. Ajamil, and when he's dying, he chanted the name of Narayana. But he was chanting the name of his son, Narayana. He wasn't thinking of Vishnu. <laughs> but what happened? The Vishnu Dutas came. And they prevented the Yamadutas from giving him hellish punishment for his sins. Why? Because all of his karma had disappeared. There was no punishment of Yamaraj at all. Uh, and that was accidental chanting of the name of the Lord. Uh, so he did that accidentally in his life and also at the point of death. So it was very powerful even then by accidental chanting. So if we chant with devotion, then how much more power the name of the Lord will have.
பக்தியுடன் நாம் பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை உச்சரிக்கும் போது எந்த அளவிற்கு அதற்கு சக்தி இருக்கும் எந்த அளவுக்கு ஆழமாக பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை உச்சரிக்கிறோமோ அந்த அளவிற்கு பகவானையும் நினைவில் கொள்ள முடியும் அதன் மூலமாக பகவானை அடையலாம் ஆனால் இதிலும் சில தடங்கள் உள்ளது ஜெனரலி யூ ஹாவ் டு ஹாவ் prema 100% attachment before you actually attain the lord bhagavane adaivadarku mun neengal 100% preme nilayile irukka vendum baudhika pattadhu irukka koodadhu so unless we reach that stage uh, then we don't go to the spiritual world andha nilayile nam adaiyumbodhu aanmiga ulagai adaiyamudiyum but if we do chat the name of the lord and we don't have that stage at least the lord guarantees that we continue to progress gradually பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை உச்சரித்துக் கொண்டு அந்த நிலையினை அடையாத பட்சத்திலும் உடலை விட்டால் விட்ட இடத்திலிருந்து மறுபிறவியும் தொடரலாம் ஆனால் எந்த சூழ்நிலையிலும் பக்தர்களுக்கு எவ்வித இழப்பும் இல்லை பக்தியின் எல்லா வழிமுறைகளும் சக்தி வாய்ந்தது and uh, if we do them accidentally or intentionally they have great power to destroy karmas and bring us close to the lord அதே போல தற்செயலாக உச்சரித்தாலும் வேண்டுமென்றே உச்சரித்தாலும் அது கர்மத்தை அழித்து பகவானுக்கு அருகில் அழைத்து செல்லும் பகவானுடைய நாமத்தை உச்சரிப்பதுதான் சுலபமான முறை அதே போல சக்தி வாய்ந்த முறையும் ஆகும் சைத்தனிய மகாபிரபுவின் இந்த இறை தூது பணி இந்த மகாமந்திரத்தை பரப்புவதாகும் அதனால் அவர் மிகவும் கருணை வாய்ந்தவர் என அழைக்கப்படுகிறார் மகாவதன்யாய என அழைக்கப்படுகிறார் மற்றொரு காரணத்திற்காக இந்த கலியுகத்தில் அனைவருக்கும் ராதா கிருஷ்ணர் மீதான பிரேமையை கிடைப்பதற்கும் வழிவகுக்கிறார் அதே போல அவர் ராதா ராணியின் மனோநிலையை எடுத்துக்கொண்டு அவர் வெளிப்படக்கூடிய அந்த பரவச நிலையை வெளிக்காட்டி இந்த கலியுக மக்களையும் பாராட்டக்கூடிய நிலைக்கு கொண்டு வந்தார் so it is uh, rare to worship the supreme lord bhagavane ucharipadu bhagavane valipaduvathu migavum adidanadu it is rare to worship krishna adhe pole krishnai valipaduvathum miga miga adidanadu and it is rare to worship radha krishna adhe pole radha krishnai valipaduvathu migavum adidanadu so therefore this is very very difficult to realize அதனால் இதனை புரிந்து கொள்வது மிக மிகவும் கடினமாகும் பொதுவாக இது எல்லா மனிதர்களுக்கும் இந்த நிலை கிடைப்பதில்லை ஆனால் சைத்தன்ய மகாபிரபு விருப்பப்பட்டார் தகுதியற்ற கலியுக மக்கள் இந்த ராதாகிருஷ்ணர் பிரேமை நிலையை அடைய வேண்டும் மகாபிரபு இஸ் with the mood of radha chaitanya mahaprabhu radha rani in malanaye kondavar and radha as the highest devotee is the most merciful radha rani miga unnada bhaktai adhe pola migavum karunai vaindavar so therefore he becomes the most merciful and desires to deliver this love of radha and krishna to the people of kali yuga adal kali yuga makkalukku radha krishna premaiye kodupadharku migavum karunai vaindavaraga thigarugiraga So of course he delivered Nam Sankirtan and there are many names of the Lord. The Nama Sankirtanathil avar koduthirukkar adil bhagavanukku palveru naamangal ullana but he particularly emphasized the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. Anal avar in the Hare Krishna maha mantrathai ucharikkumbadi valiyuruthugirar. So there's a special one reason of course this is also comes from Shruti it is in the Upanishads. அதே போல இந்த விஷயம் ஸ்தூதி இந்த உபானிஷத்திலிருந்தும் வந்திருக்கிறது அதே போல இந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா மந்திரத்திற்குள்ளும் ராதா கிருஷ்ணரும் உள்ளடங்கி இருக்கின்றனர் 
means hara which means ratha adey pola in the mahamantrathil hare hara enbadu radhaye kurikkum so we're not only chanting krishna's name we're also chanting radha's name adala nam krishna's naamathe mattum uchchalippadillai radhaye naamathayum uchchalikkirum and as prabhupada explained we approach the supreme lord through his shakti adey pola sila prabhupadar koorigirar bhagavane avarudu sakthiyin moolamaga anuga vendum so radha is the shakti of krishna radha krishnan sakti avar and we approach the uh, shakti because the shakti is most merciful nam sakti anugirum enanil sakti migavum karuni vaindava so we approach uh, krishna through radha adal nam krishnare radhayin moolamaga anugirum and this way uh, we get great mercy idan moolamaga namakku abaridamana karunai kedaikka perigirathu but through this chanting of the name hari krishna then we realize not just krishna but radha and krishna அதனால் இந்த நாமத்தை உச்சரிக்கும் போது அது கிருஷ்ணர் மட்டும் இல்ல ராதையும் கிருஷ்ணரையும் சேர்த்து அது குறிக்கிறது நாம சங்கீர்த்தத்தில் கிருஷ்ணருடைய நாமம் மட்டும் அல்லாமல் ராதையின் நாமமும் உள்ளடங்கி இருக்கிறது மகாபிரபு இது சைத்தன்யா மகாபிரபு நமக்கு கொடுத்த மிக விசேஷ பரிசு ஆகும் so it's not just any name of the lord this very very particular name anala oru kurupitta naamam solvadai vida idu oru unnada naamam aagum then through this we can realize radha krishna idan moolamaga radha krishna rai unaralam what so good about radha krishna so in the radha krishna enna kurikirathu this gives the highest possible bliss idu dhaan miga adhida aanandathai kudukka kudiyathu so through hari krishna chitanya mahaprabhu uh it offers us the highest bliss the hari krishna mahamantrathai ucharipadan moolamaga chaitanya mahaprabhu unathigirar uyirnda aanandathai adeyalam hari krishna